Hi guys! Today I will be talking about Anona Sazmaniai and very special uh, this Anona because it's almost extinct in the wild in the native land in Brazil. So, let's dig into this fruit. Look at the fruit. It's a good size fruit, actually. Mm. Very, very delicious. Mm. They are pretty big seeds, too. Look at them. Mm. Look at them. They are good sized seeds. It reminds me to sweet apples. When I say sweet apples, I mean the, the one that it's not acidic, it's more just sweet, but um, apple um, taste, apple, uh, apple aroma. Also, pineapple without the acidity, the flavor of the pineapple, but no um, acidity to it. No grittiness, which is really nice because sugar uh, or other anonas like sugar apples sometimes they get the grittiness. This one is very smooth. This third time I tasted it, it actually, I get more pineapple flavor from it. And it kind of reminded me to the canned juice of the pineapple. Very sweet, without the acidity, but the flavor is there. Mm. It's a very delicious uh, uh, anona fruit. So, are you ready for it? Yep. Okay. Um. <laughs> I like the face reaction. What do you think? It, there is a seed in it, definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, That's good. really good. It's really good, isn't it's it? It's like a tropical custard apple. Or, uh, uh, yeah, it's like it has tropical tones to it. Yes, like pineapple. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, you, you, definitely, agree? you definitely get like apple, pineapple. Apple, pineapple. It's like a fruit cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those fruit cocktail cups. Yes, it because it get that that aftertaste of it, not just the aftertaste. It, it also it's kind of hits you when you first try it. Have a have a, one more just so maybe you can decide the flavor. I'm gonna have some more. Mm. Number one, pineapple flavor mm -hmm. comes in. Without the acidity. One more time. I know I told you already three times, but. Yeah, you definitely touched the pineapple. Yeah. Apple. Even a 
maybe a little hint of vanilla lingering. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, it's a new, very good fruit. That might be my new favorite. Really? Mm -hmm. So now we have to plant all the seeds. Mm -hmm. But we need a bigger land there. <laughs> yeah, he just rolled his eyes. <laughs> Very, very good fruit. It's from Brazil. Brazil. And um, in Portuguese, they call it, call it the Araticum um, de Praia or um, Beach Araticum. Beach Araticum. Um, um, the obvious people also know, or um, Beach Anona, um, and um, the Latin name is the Anona Sasmaniae, and uh, it's almost extinct in its native land because they basically chopped it down all the native land and they planted coconuts and sugarcane. So my friend um, basically tries to spread the seeds all around the world, world so uh, this wouldn't go extinct. It's close to extinct. Uh, uh, can you help me out? Extinction. Ex extinction. Extinction. Thank you. So it is so very important to, you know, that he does that and and I will also make sure I will uh, plant all the seeds and probably uh, we'll trade later on for and also keep some but um, it's an amazing flavor and it would be a shame if yeah we like I will try my best also to to share and to trade and whatever it takes to uh, keep this alive and just keep it fruiting and uh, give it to the next generations so they can taste it as well. I really, really um, enjoying this fruit and I don't think many people who would try this wouldn't. I don't think so because it's just a very, very very good flavor, tropical flavor, um, and it's smooth, it's creamy, uh, it's delicious. delicious, 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 definitely, I will give you one, just because you complimented it. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes it's not hard, uh, sometimes it's kind of, you know, I have to be like, oh, do you like it, you sure? <laughs> Wow. Very good. You see, this seed is not viable. So it's basically empty inside this. You see how thin it is? This one, I guarantee you, I clean this off and I plant it and it should germinate in like 60 to 90 days, maybe even 30 days, depends. So yeah, it will take a couple of months and to fruit it, what I'm learning, it can take up to anywhere seven to 10 years. And uh, of course you can, uh, you can also graft it, that would go faster. Uh, graft it on another Anona, like an Anona Montana um, or uh, Anona Glabra. Uh, but yeah, mm. I give you another piece just because I know you love it. Mm. It makes me happy that you're happy with it. Mm. Mm. It's definitely like one of those fruits, like once you start eating it, you want to keep eating it. 
it gets a really good flavor, but it's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. It's not like, or you love it or you hate it. This one, uh, I don't see anything. The only damn part, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest about it. It's a ton of seeds. But other than that, excellent. Like it's such a good flavored fruit without the grittiness, without, you know, I mean, sweet, not overly sweet. It's not like sickeningly sweet that you can eat like more than maybe half or one fruit. I could eat, I could eat a couple of this actually. Like it's not sickeningly sweet. It's not acidic, but it all, but it still get a balance. So it's not just sweet. So I give you another. <laughs> mm. Wow, I will have to plant the seeds. Mm. Very good. You can eat this one as well, baby. That part. But check it out. Look at how big the seeds are. Granted, it's a big fruit too. But when it's nicely ripe, it's so beautiful. Yellow, golden. It looks like golden. I'm gonna just scoop out the leftovers. You don't mind? Mm -hmm. okay. This part actually it reminded me to when you um, get you know the apple for the babies, oh. but less apple flavor, apple but it's sauce. apple sauce. But uh, it's really it's really unique in a way, though. I can't just put point the fingers. Oh, this is apple. This it, it was uh, very complex. So. I will definitely make sure that I will plant all these seeds and most likely I will just trade with people for maybe something else so other people can have it as well and so we can keep it going and it's a wonderful fruit to lose. So yeah, I will try to do my part. I had the privilege actually to see the mother tree, the one that who gave us the fruit, and uh, I want to share it with you guys now. So enjoy. <laughs> so uh, the tree, this uh, Anona Salzmani or uh, beach uh, sugar apple was grafted on Anona glabra or um, pond apple. So. Um, it takes very well uh, wet conditions, like swampy conditions, and um, I'm sure this is probably a wet spa at the property, and you can see also there is a bubbler, so that's also supplying extra water for the tree to grow um, better and to give fruit uh, easier. Also, you can see here a fruit that it's all wrapped up in a uh, um, bag, an organza bag, so um, insects wouldn't get into it. And yes, yeah, like, like I said, the tree it's about 18 feet or so, and it's kind of you know, beautifully shaped too. beautiful waxy green um, um, leaves they are a lot harder than uh, other anonas that I know of they kind of reminding me to the um, anona montana they are like wider leaves but these are uh, waxier um, looking and also shinier I mean 
Well, that's when I was also shiny, but it's harder. It's just a more firm leaf than the other one. Yes, the tree, it's about 18 by 15 feet. So it's definitely a good sized tree. And look at the fruits on. A beautiful golden yellow fruit ready and uh, these uh, like I mentioned they, they all needed to be uh, hand pollinated it's a beautiful uh, uh, it really looks ornamental to as well so that was today's video about uh, uh, super rare uh, almost extinct uh, about uh, almost extinct fruit and um, if you like uh, content like this um, please share subscribe and let's keep this tree alive for future generations so they can taste it as well and we can all enjoy the fruit <laughs>